Hey there, YouTube family. Hope everybody is doing good. I'm going to be bringing you a very small drugstore haul. These are products that I've picked up recently, and quite a few of them are on the recommendations of different YouTubers and you guys. So I wanted to make sure that I showed them to you. Told you a little bit how I about how I feel about them so far. I have used most of them. There's a couple that just came very recently, so I'll let you know that. If at any time during the video you do like what I'm doing with my little hauls and my little reviews, please give this video a thumbs up. It really does help me. Okay, let's get into it. And 99% of this is drugstore, but I do have one thing that I wanted to show you guys that is not drugstore, and you probably can already guess what it is. So let's get into this. I got this from Ulta. This is one of their lip plumping glosses. I do think that this formula is very nice as far as its plumping properties. It's a really soft plumping. So, you know, like Buxom's has that menthol in it that is really cooling and really, you know, kind of over the top sometimes. But this one from Ulta, it really does have a very, um, very soft approach to plumping your lips. It's not something that is over the top like that, but as I've been using this one, it really does have a lot of grit in it. And I, I can't do grit, you guys. I just can't do it. I got it because I really loved the topper part of it. The gloss part of it is beautiful too, as far as the way it shimmers across your lipsticks. It's really pretty, but it does have those um, very minuscule little grit, 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 particles in it. I guess maybe I have a phobia or pet peeve or something about grit in my lip glosses. This one just didn't work for me. Also, you guys have been raving about CYO foundation. I finally went ahead and I just ordered it online. I do have it on today and this is actually the first time that I've actually tried it. So far, so good, you guys. I think it covered really pretty. It did have to be built up, but it built up really nicely. It wasn't one that, you know, you build it up and you feel like you've got, you know, a ton of foundation. Foundation on. I just found that I needed an extra coat where I have my really dark age spots and then my red my redness through here So kind of just on my cheeks, but it was really beautiful in the way that it laid down I don't know about the wear time yet because I this like I said This is my first time But I did want to share with you that I did get it and so far so far so good on that I also got the new super stay full coverage powder foundation from Maybelline I'm not impressed with this, you guys, and I'm sure it's just because I really have aging skin and I'm finding that there are not a lot of powder foundations that work for me. This is supposed to be a 16 hour wear. Um, I didn't get to hour 16 because it just looked really dry, really cakey, really, it just did not work well for me. And that is what I find with most powder foundations, really the only one that I can go to is the original Bare Minerals. And you know, it's, it, it is what it is. It's just as I age, I found that I really can't use that very much. So it's not one that I really have been enjoying very much, but I will continue to use it and report back. And if you see it in a favorite, you know that I've loved it. This is the Revlon Candid Foundation. Um, I really liked the concealer. So I decided to give the foundation a try. And this has been really good. Um, this one, I would say that around our nine, 10, it started to break apart a little bit for me, but it was a super duper hot day. And so I, I don't have a lot of foundations that will do well, but it's a really nice finish, medium coverage. I would say that it's a very natural finish. So it's not very matte and it's not very glowy. It's right in between almost at that satin point. It covered fairly good. And again, with just like the CYO, I was able to build it up on the places that I needed a little bit more coverage. But I also found that in combination with the concealer, the two looked really beautiful together. So on medium foundation days, or if you're a medium foundation, girl that doesn't like full coverage, then I would say go for it because it is a really nice foundation and it does do a really good job. Okay, this one was from Everyday Heidi. <laughs> These are the Twinkle Eyebrow Razors and they're called eyebrow razors, but if you guys haven't seen my video on dermaplaning where, you know, it's basically just shaving your face, taking off the peach fuzz and all that stuff. Okay, I'm gonna tell you just really quickly because in my experience of doing that now, because I have a lot of peach fuzz right around here. I don't really have a mustache, but I do have a little bit of, of peach fuzz up there 
And then I do have some hairs that I pluck right here. I mean, come on, let's get real. We all pluck a few hairs on our face. But what I find is that the hairs that you pluck that you know are the stiffer ones, they are going to come back and they're gonna feel a little bit stiffer because you've actually blunted the edge off when you did the razor. So, you know, when they come back in, they come back in from being plucked. And so they're growing that fine little tip out. But this way you've blunted them or you've just shaved them off. And so when they come back, they're gonna come back with that shaved off feel. So those ones that you pluck, yes, they're gonna feel a little bit stiffer, but they're really not any stiffer than what you used before. The other ones, my peach fuzz ones, those ones are fine. And as far as that old myth about it coming back thicker and it coming back darker, it doesn't happen. It just doesn't happen. If you're gonna have dark hair on your face, you're gonna have it no matter what. If you're gonna have light colored hair on your face, you're gonna have it no matter what. So yeah. This is really, really a good bargain. Okay, one concealer that I got off a recommendation from you guys is the um, Koki Beauty one. And I really am enjoying this one. It is very full coverage. You can wear it without um, needing to set it down with a powder, which is really good because then you don't look so dry. And I just got it in too light of a color for my summer color, but I have been really enjoying that. So this is one that I would say if you're somebody that needs a, a little bit more full coverage, but you don't really wanna have to set it down with powder because you have aging skin like I do with all the crepey fine lines underneath there. I should say creepy, creepy crappy, <laughs> whatever it is, fine lines under there. Yeah, it's pretty good. And another one that I got, and I think this is fairly new, not 100% sure on that one, but it's the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer like this one too. It, it performs a lot like the Koki one. It does a really good job as far as taking care of those dark, dark circles. And I don't have to set it with an extra powder, which I do appreciate. Now, I will disclaimer that saying that whole thing about not having to set it with a primer on both of those as in the summer, yes I do, because it gets bloody hot and I sweat and what can you do? You just gotta roll with it, right? Another thing that I tried, and this one is not one that I am in love with or that I even like a little bit. This is Maybelline Lash Discovery. This is the mini brush system that they have and I got it in the waterproof because I knew I was gonna to want to use it on my bottom lash line. And I was also gonna to wanna to use it for those little tiny lashes that you get in the corner on the top lashes that you can't really get with a regular mascara or you poke your nose. And I just didn't like this because I feel like I don't get enough product on that wand. I don't know whether it's because the wand is so tiny that I'm not getting the product on, but I felt like if I was gonna actually get product on there, I was gonna have to dip it in every two seconds. One little hair, dip it, one little hair, dip it. And it just didn't really build like I wanted it to. So that's actually one that I would not really recommend for you guys, but you know, just a personal preference again. All right, we're down to the last two. Just barely got this in the mail yesterday or the day before, I can't remember. This is one of the new Milani palettes that um, they just barely released last week. They were so fast in getting it to me. Hyper Pigmented Eyeshadow Palette. Um, it says, fierce foils, silky mattes, and standout shimmers, undeniably gilded. I assume that's the name of it. So nice mirror in there, and then you have all of the colors over here. Um, I've, I haven't had a chance to work with this that much, you guys. I've just really kind of swatched it. But I will tell you that these two right here are completely glitter. I don't use completely glitter, maybe occasionally to a party or whatever. And then there are several in here that are toppers. Again, I don't have a problem with toppers. However, I don't really use a very, you know, like dark color on my lid or vibrant color on my lid and then top it off with the toppers to give it, you know, a little bit of iridescence, which is a beautiful look. I think it's a gorgeous look, but that's, not something that I normally do. I normally just go for either a metallic or a foil for my lid. So this one is kind of like, I'm still, you know, processing and I haven't really even had a chance to work with it because by the way, somebody asked me to do a look with just warm eyeshadows. So that's what I have on today, just warm eyeshadows for whoever asked me to do that so that you know. Okay, so I haven't had a chance to work with it, but I'm going to, and I wanted to show it to you. There's another one. I should have gotten the other one too, but I didn't. And here is the product that is high end. When I saw this come out, I was so excited, you guys. My all time favorite ever is the Berries and Cream palette that she did. Oh my gosh, the colors in there 
are so pretty and they're so saturated. But this one is along the, the same lines of it. It's the same size. So it has 12 shadows in it. The shadows are all extremely pigmented, you guys. And if you haven't had a chance to see Kristen Dominique do her little spiel where she uses this, she uses every color in here. She sets down her under eyes with this color right here. And then she uses this as a transition color. She uses this as a blush color. She says this as is the, her perfect color for a tan when she's tan in the summertime. So see, she uses that one as a bronzer all over. But the colors are really unique and really pretty. And when it says Rustic Glam, I couldn't think of a better title for it, really. This color right here is such a pretty, like, olive gold color. And then this one over here is like a midnight blue with some light blue reflex in it. And then you have a really pretty like plummy purple right here. The mattes in here are awesome. They're so pretty and saturated. The blues in here are gorgeous. I just, I've really enjoyed working with it so far. Very saturated, very pretty colors. You can tone this down to be an everyday look or you can really glam it up and have it be a very glammed look. And I think that she chose a really good name for it. It's a beautiful palette and I think it, they did a really good job of it. I probably will be bringing you guys a look on this if you wanna see it. But I do love the blues in here and the only colors that don't really excite me too much are the warm like orangey colors like this one right here. So the palette is gorgeous. I think that you know if you're gonna splurge Try one of her palettes. She really does a really good job on her formula. And if any of them really catch your eye, as far as what they've done with the palette and the colors, then you can't go wrong as long as you really like the colors and you'll know that you'll, and you know that you'll use them. So that is it for today's haul. I hope that you guys did enjoy that. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Comment down below if there's anything that you've hauled this month that you just can't live without because I always love knowing that. You guys give me the best recommendations. I hope that you guys are all in good health. I will see you all in my next video and y'all take care of yourselves. I love you very much. Bye-bye.